Okay, carpal tunnel syndrome. What is it? Well, here you can see I've got a really uh, realistic mock up of what the hand is. You can see all these white ribbons here. They're essentially tendons. Because when your arm moves, when your fingers move, I should say, it doesn't move from muscles up here, it moves from muscles in your arm further down. So it works like this. So these tendons here you can see, the white ones are all tendons, there's one for each finger. Depending on which muscle is pulled in your arm will depend on which finger moves. Now the red one is nerves. You don't see there's no nerves in the pinky. That's why carpal tunnel syndrome never affects the little pinky finger. And what happens is all these tendons move through this channel here. So that green, that's a channel, a tunnel. The carpal tunnel, funnily enough. Because if you didn't have it, I mean, when it pulls here, that tunnel keeps the tendon down. If you didn't have it and your muscle pulled, your skin would lift up. See how it would lift up? So the tendons all run through the carpal tunnel. Now the problem is, with carpal tunnel syndrome, it's really not a problem with anything there. The tunnel is about across there. As these nerves run down and they all tend to join about here. One from the thumb, forefinger, ring finger, uh, pointer, big finger, I don't know what they call them, I can't remember. But they all fit, they all join just under here. Now if these tendons here become inflamed or become aggravated or the carpal tunnel becomes inflamed or aggravated, then guess what happens? It gets tight and it puts pressure on. It puts pressure on that nerve. And when you get pressure put on that nerve, it does a few things. Is when, when the pressure is on and you pull these, it puts more pressure on. So essentially this tightening of this nerve, the tightening of this tendon or the carpal tunnel, puts pressure on those nerves coming through. When you get pressure on those nerves, they don't work right. And nerves are basically sending signals to the brain. So you feel like there's something wrong. You, know? you feel like your fingers are swollen or inflamed. And then when you move your hand, when you move your hand, when you move your fingers, and that pressure is on, it makes it worse, it aggravates it, irritates it. These are rubbing up and down against it. Now when things are okay, it's okay, because they're inside, they're all inside tubes, it's all lubricated, it's all working well. But when, if we get rid of that, when it's not okay, you can imagine, if this is irritated, or a problem, or this is swollen, instead of just moving smoothly beside it, it's going to rub it and aggravate it. And then the tunnel across the top is going to get swollen and put pressure on it. So it sort of builds up. So that's basically in a nutshell what the carpal tunnel is and what carpal tunnel syndrome is. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a problem relating to this tunnel. Now it might not be the tunnel, it might be the ligaments, it might not be the ligaments, it might be the nerve, it might not be the nerve, it might be swelling underneath. It could be a lot of different things. But essentially carpal tunnel syndrome is when that tunnel doesn't allow these nerve, these tendons to move through without aggravating that nerve ending there.